Welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica. Thanks for joining me. This is the Retro Vintage Christmas Collab hosted by me, Hi, and my vintage-loving partner in crafting, the fab, Indiana Jones. We're so lucky to have so many amazing crafters and artists joining us today. You are going to love this collab. I'm making this light-up retro Santa and Mrs. Let's get into it. I've cut both pieces from three-quarter inch pine. They're well sanded and ready for paint. I'll start by applying two coats of primary red to all of Santa's hat and coat, including the edges where applicable. Then I'll paint Mrs. Claus's coat too. I'm going to paint these pieces simultaneously, which is what I usually do when I'm not filming. It's just easier for me. So I'll be jumping back and forth between the pieces. Now Mrs. Claus doesn't have a hat, so it's just her coat that's going to get base coated red. Their mittens are base coated with ceramic coat parsley. And while I have parsley on the go, I'll paint the inside of the tree cut out. Their faces are ceramic coat tawny medium, and I forgot to mention, but as always, they will get two applications of all the base coat colors. I'm using ceramic coat white to base coat all the fur, Santa's beard, and Mrs. Claus's hair. Ceramco charcoal for their eyes and for her mouth. The eyes are just like arches, like a capital D on its side. And I'll just fill those in. To make her mouth, I'll just paint in capital U. And this is just your standard liner brush that I'm using. They'll both get white eyebrows. Hers are comma strokes and Santa's are delta shaped. Mrs. C will get some holly in her hair and on her collar. The leaves will be ceramic coat parsley and the two back berries are going to be primary red and the front berries are ceramic coat watermelon. And I'm just using a dowel to dip dot the berries. I'll paint his cheeks now. I mask off Santa's beard so I don't get paint on it when I dry brush his cheeks with watermelon. This is just some cardstock that I've cut into the shape of his beard. And I'm using a scrubby brush to apply. Just going in a circular motion until I'm happy with the color.
Her cheeks were also bee watermelon. And I'm using a cardstock stencil that I made previously for other projects. Again, I'm using that scrubby brush in a circular motion. I'm going to do a quick outline of the holly with Ceram Coat Spring Green. It's time to shade in the detail with Folk Art Floating Medium. The medium is a clear gel and I'll prep my brush with it. I'm dipping my brush in, getting a healthy coat on there, and I'll side load with Ceram Coat Raw Sienna, scooping the paint up onto one corner of my brush, and I'll stroke it on the plate to load the bristles. With the paint side of my brush to her hairline, I'll shade right around her face, reloading frequently. I want to keep that color light and feathery, so sometimes you'll see I'll stroke over it as I'm doing there, and that'll kind of feather out the color. I'm going to come in here and kind of add some detail to her cheeks and her chin. And I do a wee bit of shading under her eyes. Oh yeah, I gave her some eyelashes earlier too. And I'll do the same with Santa. I will shade right around his face, under his eyebrows, and under his eyes. Now I'm going to shade around the tree cutout with parsley. I want it to have like a diffused look, so I'll just go nice and light and feathery right around the tree on both pieces. Because of the size of my brush, as I was stroking the green on, um, it was taking bits of what I've already stroked on off. So that's why you see me going from side to side here, because that gives the float a chance to dry. So I'm not removing what I just added, if that makes sense. I could have switched to a smaller brush, but I want the uh, shading all to be the same size. So it's just easier to bounce back and forth from side to side. And as I said, I do the exact same thing on Mrs. Claus. On the inside of their mittens, I'm using Spring Green to do the first layer of shading. And when I reload my brush, I'm just pulling from that puddle, that streak there on my plate, to reload my brush. The first layer of shading for all the weight sections will be with Ceram Coat Drizzle Gray. Really, you can think of it as just like an outline around all the white parts with the drizzle. You know we'll be coming back with another color after I get this laid down. Just shading right around the perimeter of his hat fur.
And right here I'm going to shade in Santa's mustache to give that definition. Here I'm reinforcing the shading from the opposite direction. Before it was under his mustache, now it's on top of his mustache. And I'm going to shade in his cuffs and the bottom part of his eyebrows. And for Mrs. I'll float in the shading in her hair, her collar, and her cuffs. and the division of her big old bun. And now I'm coming at it from the other side. Reinforcing that partner hair. And now just outlining her collar and her cuffs. To give Santa's hat and their coats some dimension, I'm using Ceramco Blackberry, no not Blackberry, Black Cherry to shade all the red areas. And here I'm going to define his arm a little bit. It's really just a simple curved stroke and it'll go around the mittens and the cuffs. And of course, everything I do to one side, I will do to the other, and to Mrs. Claus as well. For time's sake, for the video, I might not show you all of that, but it's the exact same process. I'm shading in under her collar, and then once again, I will float in the shape of her arms on both sides. And around the mittens. And my final outline layer of shading will be with Hippo Gray. And I'll shade the entire piece. Everywhere that I just shaded with the other colors, I will reinforce with the Hippo. I want this to have a really soft, diffused look. So I'm keeping it really light and feathery. If I come across a line that's too harsh, I'll just load my brush up more with the medium than with the paint, and I'll go back over that harsh line and feather it out. The details, the shading, and the highlighting are always my favorite part of every piece I paint. It's when you can really see that piece come together. And finally, I'm just going to shade right around the outside of her coat, and then she'll be done, and we'll move on to Santa. It's the same thing, just adding that outline with the hippo gray around all of the shading that I've already done. I'm trying to keep the shading with the hippo as close to the edge of each section as possible, but you know, you just play around and see what you like, see what floats your boat. And now I'll just let you watch what I'm doing and I'll jump back in in a little bit.
Now that all the shading is done, with white, a highlight under Santa's eyes, and just at the very top of his cheeks. And then I'll dip dot highlights in his eyes and on his cheeks, because I can't help myself. And then load the brush for the highlighting. It's the same as I do with the shading. So I dip it in the medium and then side load with the white. And I'll dot the Miss's eyes and her cheeks and the berries too. To make the tree topper, I use a dowel to add a white dot at the very top of the tree. And I add some Glamour Dusk to add some sparkle. I have a piece of cardstock to catch the excess glitter, which I'll put back into the um, bottle. Waste not, want not. And now I'll dot on some ornaments with parsley right along the tree to glam it up a bit. And I'll shake on some Peridot Extra Fine Glitter. And I'll do the same to Mrs. Before I do anything else, I'll seal them with clear matte spray. This will keep that glitter in place. I will fix red glass beads as their noses, and I'm using E6000 for this. I've cut and painted a piece of wood as a backer stand for each. It's about 7 inches by 4.5 inches wide. So first I'm going to attach them with both a little bit of wood glue and a little bit of hot glue. Then to make sure they're nice and sturdy, I'll screw in corner brackets. I mark their position, then I'll drill pilot holes and I'll screw them into place. All that's left to do is to add the electric candle. And there's Santa, looking all retro-y. <laughs> I really like the way he turned out. I think his face is so cute. I love the bead for his nose. He's just adorable. And her, I just love her. Doesn't she look like your granny? Absolutely. Love her. Thanks to Indie Annie Jones for co-hosting and to all of my amazing friends for participating. You'll find links to Annie's channel and the playlist in the description box. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.